Hi, Terry Bailey, Senior Minister, Indian Run Christian Church, East Canton, Ohio. I want to bring uh, to you the next few days uh, some words from the third chapter of Peter's second letter. And it goes like this, 2 Peter 3, 10 to 15. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, in which the heavens will pass away with a roar, and the elements will be destroyed with intense heat, and the earth and its works will be burned up. Since all these things are to be destroyed in this way, what sort of people ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be destroyed by burning and the elements will melt with intense heat. But according to his promise, we are looking for a new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you look for these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace, spotless and blameless." And regard the patience of our Lord as salvation, just as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given him, wrote to you. Always glad for one thing, that Peter kind of shared this encouragement with Paul and cited him by name. But the question is, if there is to be an end time, a last day, a moment in which the present creation will melt away with fire and something new will emerge on the stage. If all these things are to be, what sort of people ought we to be? How does it change us? You know, a good many people have been worried about end-time questions with the advent of the coronavirus is this it? Is this part of the last judgment, the great tribulation? Well, the answer is, I don't know. I, I have odd views about the book of Revelation, but I won't go into that now because the main question remains the same. What sort of people ought we to be? First, I would say, we need to be a people looking for this big change that God has promised to make where the old passes away and the new comes into being. Without this, let me tell you, history is headed exactly nowhere. And our lives are changed when we understand that history is headed somewhere, that God has appointed a day, and on that day... Everything will change and all his purposes will be fulfilled and his people will enter into a new life and a new relationship with him. We should be first and foremost an expectant and optimistic people because we know these things are coming. Even in the midst of crisis, and certainly if you read the book of Revelation, you will understand that the end times are going to be accompanied by a great deal of crisis. And even in the midst of the crisis, we know that God is working to bring about the new. And we become an expectant and optimistic people. I hope that we are, even in the midst of this crisis. If you would pray with me. Father, give us this expectancy and this sure, hopeful knowledge that your plan moves forward and history will come to the appointed fulfillment of all things. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.